What is up guys, this is Luke with LP Cubing, and today we're going to be building Nathan Wilson's Fuse Cube. So I've been wanting to get into puzzle modification for quite some time, and Nathan Wilson's videos really are, uh, is really what made me want to get into it. And I thought that the Fuse Cube, this is what this puzzle looks like, be a good place to start because the mod seems fairly simple and straightforward. Um, I'm not going to be doing it down here in my studio because there's quite a lot of equipment involved and I don't want to get things all messy. So I'll be going out to my workbench. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so I went ahead over here and moved to my workbench. So first I'll go ahead and show you an overview on how this is going to work. So the first part, um, what the fuse cube is, is basically a two by two fuse block of pieces um, that creates a bandage modification. So we need to super glue this two by two block together, fill the pieces with epoxy sculpt. And in the video, Nathan Wilson used baking soda and super glue. Although he would have preferred epoxy sculpt, he did this to show that you don't need epoxy sculpt to produce a bandage modification. But to make a better quality puzzle, I'm gonna go ahead and using epoxy sculpt. After that, we just go ahead, sand the pieces down, make them the right shape, um, paint the pieces, and then sticker them up. Also, he did not say what stickers he used for this 2x2 two two block of stickers, but uh, I ordered some skew stickers from the cubicle, and the center skew sticker fits perfectly on this 2x2 two two block. Let's go ahead and get started. Also, in Nathan Wilson's video, he uh, bought a regular Guan Long that was already stickered. I just got mine unstickered to begin with, just to save the hassle of unstickering it and putting on new stickers. So we have all the pieces glued together. Now we just get to go ahead and let them dry. All right, so it's semi-dried. It's almost finished drying. I went ahead and smoothed it all out, um, connected in the corners, added in an extra layer. So yeah, it's looking good so far. All right, so the super glue went ahead and dried, and this is turning out very nice. These pieces are not coming apart. It's definitely sticking together. Still turning very well. So the next part is going to be to disassemble this puzzle and fill it with epoxy sculpts. All right, so we have this puzzle disassembled and this is our two by one block of pieces. So as you can see, these are uh, the parts over here that we're going to be filling with epoxy sculpt. All right, it has been five minutes. Now we're ready to begin filling this up with epoxy. All right, so I have finished filling this up with epoxy. This piece is all ready to go, and we're gonna go ahead and let this cure and finish up this build tomorrow. All right, so the epoxy sculpt has cured and hardened, so now all we have to do is sand this down, paint it, and sticker it. All right, so we're just about done sanding this. Just a little bit more there to do, but there we go, yeah. We finished sanding it, it's looking great. Um, let's go ahead here and just round off and smoothen out the pieces a little bit with some scotch bright. Here we go, let's go ahead and uh, move outside and I'll paint this. Okay, we're outside, I'm sorry for the terrible lighting, but uh, we had to do this outside. All right, so here we are. The piece has been painted and dried, and it looks good, but I actually really understand it because I had a big fear of over sanding it. Because um, it's a puzzle where you just have to put in bits of epoxy sculpt around the edges, and it was a really thin layer, I had a big fear of under sanding it, 
And uh, it's not that bad. Um, a lot the stickers will really cover up most of it, but I did understand it. But I'm sure that it'll uh, look good once it's put it together too. Also, this is a bit of an issue. Some of the uh, holes for the core are plugged up with paint. Um, I should be able to get it out though. Let's see here. Yep, there you go. So I guess I'll go ahead and sticker this piece up. Alright, so here it is stickered. It looks good. Um, the Skew stickers were a bit large, as you can see. But uh, it, it doesn't look the best, but it looks good. I'm happy with it. And like I said before, this really was a puzzle to get me into modding. I don't really have a lot of modding experience, and I've wanted to get into it. So I had a lot of fun doing this, and as I continue to do more mods in the future, my skills will continue to develop. So now let's go ahead and reassemble this puzzle, sticker it up, and we'll be done. And there we go, we have completed building Nathan Wilson's Fuse Cube. As you can see, this thing is locked up, not moving, creating a pretty cool bandage mod. Don't want to scramble this um, just yet because I'm not really sure how to go about solving it. This was really a learning experience because like I said, I have like pretty much no modding experience. And it came up pretty good. There are some places I could have done better. This one sticker I made crooked. but. I'm pleased with the result. It looks like a really cool puzzle to play around with, figure out how to solve. But thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.